Bison Point. Yeah, there is no, there's no real sienna on that horizon, is there? There's any yellow in the ground? I can't see it. Not that I have to follow that particularly, but. Going on real strong pigment. Very strong type of pigment on there. Really strong, going almost neat, going up to a number eight in terms of the scale. to grey there. Let that run back a little bit. Just have fun of doing this. You know, when we finish, carry on. If, you, if you've got another 20 minutes at home alone in your room, just get another sheet of Saunders Waterford um, and start painting. That would be really good. And Jackie, I'll, I'll send you information after this i didn't get time to do it earlier about what equipment we use what colors we use what sort of so you get to know you know and you can it's very important though having your your nice warms and cools and we only use three blues french ultramarine which i haven't used today uh this is um this has come out really sharp i think that's some of my schminka cerulean has come out by accident. This looks like um, my Rembrandt Cerulean, and that looks like Schmincke Cerulean. There, there's something, something. I don't mind. There's no, no rules. Nothing, nothing that can't be done. I haven't got that strong line that the original the front has is coming towards you. This front of bad weather, but whether that's an issue or not, I don't. I don't know. Just going to get a thirsty brush again and just see it sucks it away like a Dyson. That's what a, th a thirsty brush is a brush where you take all the moisture out and it just vacuums the, it, you control it. Getting a bit of rain coming in on the, which I don't mind. I like the way that's light over there. I'm just going to put this to one side. That is actually not, I'm quite surprised. I've got a lot of color in there. I'm sort of a bit shocked by how, how strong that is. Right, while I'm here, just checking the time, I'm going to get my colors going.
Got the hill or something over there. That didn't go flat. Because Norfolk is relatively flat. There are some little hillettes, I suppose you could call them, but the Bijou Hillette. Putting in the Oh, that's got lots of bits on it. So I don't know what that was. Eh? trying to paint this in a slightly different way. I'm using this color here, which is called Naples Yellow Red. I haven't used it for a long time. I'm sort of moving back to it because it's it's very opaque. Try and pull out a little bit. Do all sorts of things in watercolor, can't you? You can do as you please, but if you, as long as you obey those basic principles, the first light wash, the sky wet and wet, you know, getting putting in a bit of color, that's about it. That, that's it for now. I'm liking this guy, I think. Right, what do we need? Yes, tree line again. Three line. Okay, a bit on there. It's like speed painting. <laughs> well, it's just getting, yeah, it's getting a little bit. 
I suppose this is good practice for on plein air. Well, it is. And when you're painting on plein air, you need to be much quicker. Yes. In the studio, you, you need to... It's about the lights and the darks, and it's not worrying too much about um, detail. It's what I'm trying to get everyone to stop doing. You know, it, and again, it's my interpretation. I, it, I'm an artist, but there are many different artists that have different ways of doing it. And, and I'm not expecting you to do it exactly sort of like I do it. I, you do it the way you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... I can only show you all the tricks and stuff like that. Just doing some other, just making this slightly different. I'm just treating this in a completely different way. Just to show you that you can use other colors, other values. One thing that's making the painting work, it's a couple of things. You've got an interesting sky, which is done. You don't go back to that. But you've also got distance. You've got this line here in the distance. Then you've got this nice light bit. And then you've got this darker bit. And you've got a slightly different colors over here. You've got this road. We want to put those fences, this is still a bit wet, um, but we, we want to put that in. Need a little bit of, just put something in. It's better, we got a bit more of a shape of the road. Yeah, a couple of quick marks. Just I'm having fun, that's all I'm doing. I'm just having fun painting. But it looks okay because I'm following the principles of light and dark. I'm using completely random colors here um, because it's expressive. I'm using bits of light showing against dark, dark and light. I've used some strong colors here. I've just used a bit of rigor work. I might even come over here and get some, when that's dry, it's still wet at the moment. I can't put rigor work on it. Um, but again, this is looking a little bit false at the moment. I need to mess it up a bit. I think I'm waiting for it to, I'm talking because I'm waiting for it to dry now because I, I, I like to put a couple of posts up here. I might even put a different type of post. I might put a like a telegraph line or something. The colours work really well, actually. Sorry? I think the colours work really the well. Colored, yeah. I do, yeah. yeah. Well, I primarily, these red colours, they're, they're primarily burnt sienna. Yeah. 
that's like real burnt sienna. Then you got yeah. that's burnt sienna with that's mm. burnt sienna. It's mm. just different. Very try and try and vary colours. You know, when you've got light, I just chuck something. Dark. I just want that variety of mm. to light. I as long as you've got certain things like that. That thing running through the back gives the sense of you know where the land is, and the land yeah. down the bottom. It's all this one third, two thirds. Yeah. Like big sky, you want big sky, and then you want two thirds. Everyone can paint like you can all paint like this. Mm. If you just follow the principle of the big brush, do the sky first, wet in wet, do this light, and then build up, do your tree line, do your bits. This is being recorded. I'll probably end up making a film of this as I as I do for YouTube. Yeah, that's brilliant. No, I love the uh, this is really let's give let's give the different the different colours. That's yeah, I mean uh, you can see the other one, look, look. You got that. Yeah, the more yellow one. That's the yeah. summer version. The other one's the autumn version. Yeah. You're right. Which one which one do you like? I like them both actually. But, uh, this one is about to have the purple, uh, yeah. uh, Jimi Hendrix purple haze. <laughs> the magic purple. Yeah, the purple haze. You're going to get some of these little marks on here, which I'm going to do as soon as this is dry, it's going to be chucked on. I like the way that has gone almost too dark blue there. I love that. I love things like that. Yeah, I like that one best, I think. But this one. Yeah. Well, remember, this is not finished yet. No, no, I suppose it's just the colours, I think, uh, well, the are more purple, subtle than the, the other one. Well, the purple's coming on here now. Mm. <laughs> um, but I, I sort of... I sort of quite like this, in a way. Mm. I'm, I'm almost thinking of putting a couple of telegraph poles, like a big one here, coming down, right. and then one here, and then a couple of lines... I might mess it up, that's all. The bird sitting on the Y, yeah. Bird on the Y, bird on the Y, yeah. Now we're, yeah it's getting, we're getting into music now. We're getting into Leonard Cohen, yeah. Leonard Cohen, yeah. yeah. Budgie on the string, bird on the Y. <laughs> I remember that. Do you know, when you see Leonard Cohen once. So did I, yeah. So did I. <laughs> did I thought it was fantastic. I found him slightly depressing, to be honest. That's what I saw him. Graham. I th Leonard Cohen isn't exactly a barrel of laughs, is he? No, but I saw, no. him, I saw him a couple of years before he died, and he was really good. He'd, um, he'd, he got a massive, he'd, he's fantastic. It was a bit different to anything in the old days when he was on his own and he sort of sang about death. And yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Where really did, you, did you see him in Nottingham? Where did you see him? I saw him in, I saw him in, um, uh, in Greenwich, the O2. Oh, right. Um, but it was it was brilliant. It yeah, was, I loved it. It was great. Not everyone's cup of tea, but no. But I, I, I really like it. I can see why. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Is bye. bye. Oh, is, that, is my tea ready, Francis? <laughs> Going off to, um, Sorry, it's my tea. Oh, <laughs> going, going off to put your Leonard Cohen album on, are you? But I'm hungry. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye, dear. Yeah, I just feel I want to... I, I don't know what I want to do. I almost want to put a pole in. Yeah. A little flying jet. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah. You get those in Norfolk, don't you? You do, yeah. Uh-huh. You do. Right, okay, shadow time. Last three minutes, and then we're done. No, that's a hard, a hold on for that. Yeah, you've got to hold on. Yeah, this is the got to Got to see the magic. The magic time. Magic time. Just need a little bit more, a bit flat. Yeah, 
Let's have a look. So I don't know what they are, but anyway. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, that's uh, great. Mm -hmm. Very quick. So, just putting some stuff around here just to break that up a little bit. 